you've made a crystal radio and it does not work. So, what are the things that can go wrong with it? Well, that's what this video is about and it will apply to most of the crystal radios you see on the internet. These are common problems. And my list is based on the uh, requests I've had back from people in the comments section about uh, I made a crystal radio and it didn't work, what could go wrong? So, let's start out. There's different categories of things that can go wrong. Uh, some of them are absolute project killers. They will not work. Some of them will likely cause serious problems and others um, are, will cause mild problems. And if you have enough of the mild problems, you'll, it probably won't work. Okay, so let's jump into that. Let's start with the most severe problems. Probably the most common thing that people write to me and ask is, my radio doesn't work, uh, and I ask them, did you use a 1N34A diode like this one? And they say, I used a germanium diode, or I used a diode that's glass like yours, or I used a different diode. Well, if it's not a 1N34A, it's not going to work. People have told me there's substitutes out there, but let me tell you, I have never found one myself. So, uh, first thing is make sure you use this exact diode, 1N34A. Okay? That's the first one. The second biggest project killer is using the wrong earphone. People say, oh, I use my, you know, earphone from my iPod or from my from my Galaxy or whatever, uh, how come that won't work? Well, it won't. Uh, you need a crystal earphone, and these things are incredibly cheap. I mean, they're like a buck or two off of Amazon. You can find them in different places. But it must be one of these crystal earphones. Uh, nothing else is going to work. So, yeah, if you substitute a different earphone, I'm pretty much going to guarantee you it's not going to work. They just require too much power. I mean, these crystal earphones work on, on almost next to nothing as far as voltage goes. But the other style, I mean, it's like in your telephone or what have you, your tablet, they consume huge amounts of power and this, the radio just doesn't have it. Uh, so you plug it in and there's just not enough to move the internal components so you never hear any sound. Okay, so that's number two, wrong earphone. The final absolute thing you can do wrong to keep your radio from working, and this one's not very common, I've only had one person ask me about it, but they got some wire and they wound their coil and then they wrote to me and they said, well, what do you mean by enameled? I just, I just have some bare copper wire. And <laughs> Okay, that will not work, because if it's bare copper wire, you'll just have a short all the way from one end of the coil to the other, and it's basically like a solid copper tube if you do that, and that just won't work. So, um, yeah, the third uh, critical mistake you can make is using uh, bare or non-enameled wire on the, uh, on the winding. And you can see here from the change in color, that's the enamel coating on the wire that's changing color. Okay, this is an example of enameled wire. You can see down here where I've scraped away the enamel part. And this brownish part is actually a lacquer that insulates the wire and we'll talk about this again later but you need this type of wire for the coil but again here's the clean copper and here is the enameled wire you need the enameled wire for the coil moving on to our category of things that are likely to cause a failure they may not cause a guaranteed failure but they're likely to cause problems uh, and the first one along that line is getting bad contact between the wiper and the wire. And this can occur for several reasons, but the most common is that the enamel has not been sanded off of here. So in my videos I suggest taking a piece of sandpaper and sanding them along the line where the wiper touches. Now you can see on this coil where the wiper touches, where the enamel has been taken off, it's that dark stripe. Some other reasons that you may get bad contact is if you, for example, one person used a coat hanger or a metal, a steel wire. Steel corrodes, and especially when it's left in contact with a dissimilar metal like copper. So you'll get a bad connection because this is uh, rusted. Or if you use a coat hanger, that metal's also been painted. So bad contact, any reason you get a bad contact between the wiper and the coil can uh, cause an issue. With old style earphones, 
this had to be a capacitor right here but on these new piezoelectric style earphones this has to be a resistor so another likely issue is if you use the wrong uh, resistor or you use no resistor at all you'll probably get either very scratchy sound or no sound at all antennas are really important to crystal radios I've had people ask can I use an old car antenna or whatever uh, the answer is no you just need a long straight piece of copper wire is best uh, run it out as far as you can make it as long as you can uh, insulate it on both ends I just use a plastic string and make sure you don't run it near anything especially do not for safety reasons never run it near any electrical lines or anything but run it out into free space and secure it on each end with say a plastic string or uh, any kind of a plastic bobbin something that will keep the the end of the wire from coming in contact with well, anything at all other than the plastic so yeah the antenna is extremely important it's what powers the radio it's what brings in the signal so antenna is one of those things if you don't have it right it's gonna cause problems it can cause a failure but most likely you'll just get bad reception the next thing it can cause you a serious problem are connections like this and there's two parts of the connection there's things like this screw which I'm using stainless uh, these washers which are brass and then the wire they're connecting to you need to make sure as we discussed earlier that where this enamel wire comes in that it's been thoroughly scraped that the enamel has been removed where it's going to meet the connection if you can solder it that's all the better if you can't solder it that's okay just make sure that copper is clean where it meets the connection there are many things that can go wrong with the coil that will most likely cause a problem the first one being that this tube needs to be plastic paper or glass it cannot be metal and it cannot be painted you can use a clear lacquer but any paint with any type of color will not work another thing which will cause problems it probably will not keep your radio from working at all but it will probably keep it from working very well is if you use a tube that is not the specification uh, that was given by the builder so uh, in my videos I have the specifications listed in the description and you must use the same diameter of tube as the specification otherwise you'll be off on another frequency and if you're too far off you won't get anything you'll likely be off in a band that's not AM okay so tube size is important we discussed the material of the coil that you wrap it around now let's talk about the wire the first thing you can do is use the wrong length of wire so for example if they specify 35 feet and you use 45 feet that changes the way the coil works and it may or may not work um, if the wire is too thick or too thin you will get too many or too few turns per distance so a lot of times this will be like you know five turns per inch or ten turns per inch or five turns per centimeter whatever it is the thickness of the wire affects the number of turns per distance and that will definitely affect how well your radio works and it may put you off in a different band where there's no AM once again also if you have the total number of turns from here to here wrong now on this one it's 170 but if you have the total number of turns wrong uh, it probably will not work if you're off by one or two turns that's not a big deal but if you're off by 5, 10, 15, 20 turns yeah it's probably not going to work okay so let's go on to some things that are they're not going to make sure your radio doesn't work or they're not going to be a big issue but you know if you have enough of these small things it will cause your radio to either not work well or maybe not work at all some things that can cause uh, small problems but these small problems can add up the first one is the wiper the wiper should either be stainless or brass you can use other materials but you're likely you're likely to end up with problems having a, an insulator for your fingers like I use a wooden bead on this one really helps because if you touch this and try to tune it if you touch the rod and try to tune it 
it likely will not work. You'll, you'll interfere with the radio signal and it will not work. So uh, having some type of insulator to move the wiper is very important. Something that helps with a coil is to have it set up off the board. You'll notice that it's not laying flat against the board. That helps. Uh, it's not critical. It will not keep your radio from working, but uh, it will probably well, probably cause it to be quieter than it should be and may interfere with the signal. Um, if the wood is damp then and it's sitting down on it, it may not work at all. So setting the coil up off of the board is a good thing. Another one of those things that can impact the performance of your radio, especially over time, is not using stainless or brass for the connections and parts like this. Yes, you can use a steel screw and yes, you could use steel washers, but over time they will form a thin film of rust on them and you'll find that the uh, performance of your radio degrades and over a long enough period of time or under adverse conditions, it'll just stop working altogether. So, strongly recommend the use of stainless or brass uh, throughout. Well, these are the most common things that can keep your crystal radio from working or keep it from performing at its best. I hope you found these useful and interesting in your home DIY crystal radio projects.